Hi everyone, Miss Tui here. Are you ready to be a code detective? There are some bugs or errors in Ozobot's programming and it needs your help to help find and fix them. For today's lesson, you will need an Ozobot fully charged and calibrated and an Ozoblock editor. Today we'll be working in level three. After today's lesson, you will be able to define debugging and explain why it's important. Examine a block-based code and the behavior of your bot to find a bug in a program, and edit a block-based code and test the program to fix the bug. Debugging is important when learning to program. As a programmer, you will encounter bugs or errors in your code. Debugging is the process of finding and correcting errors or bugs in programs. Sometimes a bug or error is easy to identify. Other times, you may need to iterate or make changes to your code and retest multiple times before the bug is resolved. A bug can happen if one block is placed in the wrong order of the sequence, one block is missing completely, or one block has an incorrect setting. A bug or error can also involve multiple blocks. When multiple blocks are involved, you can decompose or break down the problem into steps to fix it. Open up Oza Blockly and click on level three to build the bugged program. To begin your sequence, you will go to the light effects in the block panel. Click and drag three set top light color blocks into the workspace, then stack the blocks together. Next, you will click on the color red to change the color for the first two blocks. The first block will be the color green and the second block will be the color yellow. The colors of the blocks will look like the sequence of a traffic light, green, yellow, red. Now you will go to movement in the block panel. Click the big circle medium forward left one second block and drag it below the block with the color green in it. Then click the small circle medium forward left one second block and drag it below the block with the color yellow in it. Finally, you will go to timing in the block panel. Click the wait one second block and drag it below the block with the color red in it. Can you build the first bugged program? Now that you have built the bugged program, let me tell you what the intended outcome of the program is. The program is supposed to tell the bot to move in a complete big circle quickly after the light turns green, move in a complete small circle slowly after the light turns yellow, and stop after the light turns red. The bot should repeat the sequence three times. I will run the program to observe my bot in action. I will notice that my bot is not completing the intended outcome. Can you run your program and watch your bot's behavior? Does the bot move in a complete big circle quickly when the light is green? Does the bot move in a complete small circle when the bot is yellow? Does the bot stop when the light turns red? Does the bot repeat the sequence three times? When you ran the program, you may have noticed three different bugs or errors in the program. The bot did not run enough to complete two circles, the bot did not change speed, and the bot did not repeat the sequence. Let's look back at the coding to fix the first bug. The bot does not run long enough to make the first complete circle when it is green and the second complete circle when it is yellow. The bug is an error with the settings for two of the blocks in the sequence. First, identify the block that tells the bot to complete the first big circle. The timing or number of seconds on this block will need to be changed. Next, identify the block that tells the bot to complete the second small circle. The timing or number of seconds on this block will also need to be changed. 
Can you change the number of seconds on the big circle and small circle blocks? The bot needs to run long enough to move in a complete big circle and a complete small circle. Will you increase or decrease the number of seconds? Do you think both blocks should have the same number of seconds or different number of seconds? Look back at the code to fix the second bug. The bot needs to move quickly when it turns green and slowly when it turns yellow. This bug is also an error with the settings for two of the blocks in the sequence. First, identify the block that tells the bot to move at a set speed when green. The speed on this block will need to change. Next, identify the block that tells the bot to move at a set speed when yellow. The speed on this block will also need to change. Can you change the speed on the big circle and small circle blocks? The bot needs to move quickly when green and slowly when yellow. Will you increase or decrease the speed? Now look back at the code to fix the third and final bug. The bot needs to repeat the sequence three times. This error is a block missing completely from the sequence. Do you remember what a block is called that repeats a sequence? That's right, it's called a loop. You will need to go to loops in the block panel to add a count control loop. Can you add a count controlled loop around your sequence of code? The bot should complete the sequence three times. Time to run the program again and observe the behavior of your bot. If your bot does not move in two complete circles, you will need to iterate or go back to your code and increase the number of seconds again. Can you run your program and watch your bot's behavior? Does the bot move in a complete big circle quickly when the light is green? Does the bot move in a complete small circle slowly when the bot is yellow? Does the bot stop when the light turns red? Does the bot repeat the sequence three times? Awesome job working through the debugging process. You should have changed the speed on the big circle block to very fast and increased the number of seconds to three. You should have also changed the speed on your small circle block to slow and increased the number of seconds to five. Finally, you should have added the count controlled loop, changed the count to repeat three times and placed the block around your entire sequence. How did you do debugging your program? Check your program with the solution. Check for completion. Did you identify the three bugs in your program by observing your bot and analyzing the code? Did you fix all three bugs in your program? Does your bot demonstrate the intended outcome? Can you define debugging? If you're looking for more to do, you can choose a bugged program activity card to practice debugging on your own. Come back again soon for our next lesson.